Hello YouTube! Um, I've got a surprise package. Um, yeah, I, I know it's a surprise in one sense. No, um, I sent something to AdFot1 uh, a while back and um, I, there was a specific reason to sort of, um, catch to sending it. It was it, it was it was a game I had a duplicate of, but the the original, the, the one that I've kept, um, was given to me, you know, as a you know just sent to me for for nothing. And so um, when I got the duplicate, obviously I, I didn't want to. I, I generally don't have. I generally don't keep doubles of things. So um, I wanted to pass on this game to somebody else who could use it, but obviously because the original was um, uh, was given to me, I, I, it would only be right to, to pass on the duplicate in the same way, because you know, I don't want to profit some, from something when um, I've got my, my one was given to me in the first place, if that makes sense. But, um, so I, I, got, I had this game, um, I knew Adfot one was collecting a certain, you know, Go and check out his channel. The description will be in the in the, in the description box below. The description, the link will be in the, dis the description box below. I've got to learn to enunciate properly. I've noticed in my videos. I, I say I've, I've developed a tendency for saying "sank," which is a really North London way of saying some, something. Something sank, spelled S U apostrophe I N K. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Yeah, check the check the description box below. There will be a link to his channel, and you'll be able to see what I sent him. And you should check his channel out anyway because he's a really funny bloke. Does um does uh, lots of collection videos and stuff. He's just completed a a full um, retail release power collection, power links collection, which is admirable in itself. But he's a really funny bloke, and uh, all his videos are always worth watching. And my favourites that he does are the um, he does um, drunk eBay. He shows stuff he's bought on eBay, and they're always really funny. You know, just random stuff. I've done that once. I've tried that once, and it actually I, I got away lightly. But he's he's always good. But um, I sent him this game, and uh, I didn't want anything for it. But Adam, being the top bloke he is, um, sorry, my. I thought, I, had a little, I, thought, I thought my my computer just crashed, but it hasn't. So anyway, back to the the, the issue at hand. Adam, being the top bloke, he is, um, didn't really wasn't comfortable um, um, taking that, you know, without sending something in return. And um, he, he uh, I always I always put my address on the back of things. That wasn't that wasn't. <laughs> That wasn't um, with with the uh, you know subconscious subconsciously me wanting him to send me something, but it was generally because that's how I always do things. But so he had my address, and so he sent something and he didn't have to. So and this is what it is. This is I have zero idea what's on the back of this. I know I, I knew it was from Australia, obviously because it's from Australia. But Australian padded envelopes, Australian jiffy bags, are, are ten times better than ours. It it actually looks like it would protect something, but. And it's got a nice little pull strip at the top there. So I've crossed out all the stuff. <laughs> no idea. And, and he did put uh, Owen, it was Labus. <laughs> Drunken scribes. Brilliant. That's it's the only way it should be, really. Congrats on TRGM. Awesome. Thanks for Jedi, I hope you enjoy the DS, DS game. Oh, I thought it was right your alley for now. <laughs> and Dragon Dragon Ball just for amusements. Keep up the good work, bring on facial hair and cardigans. I've got the facial hair, but it's um oh well, no maybe not today, but um, in recent days it's been a bit warm for cardigans. And um like I like I've said before, my cardigans generally are, are looking a bit like um a bit knackered. I need some new ones. Birthday's coming up, might buy myself a new cardigan. But anyway, he's given me a, a hint as to what he sent me, because like I said, I have zero idea what 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 it is. But he insisted on saying ten something, but um Sank. <laughs> sank. 
Ooh. Ooh. I think I know what this is actually. I do know what this is. Because I, I know, I, I can tell by the back of the box, because this is a game that I've looked at and thought, yeah, that's going on my list. I know exactly what it is. So, ooh. Oh wow, look at that. I didn't realise. That's that's what it means by Dragon Ball. That is in these dinky little uh, dinky little It's because I'm in the background. It's focusing on me. There you go. Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury. Um I love Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I will, I, I really want to get the, if there's a box set available, the whole lot, I'd love to get it. But the, the, Boo, the Boo Saga is the only one I've ever watched any amount of. So I sort of, I, I know who Boo is. Boo's the only character, the, the only villain. I, there's all these other, like Cell and um, who was the other ones. I don't know the other story arcs. Boo's the only one I know. But that is brilliant. And... This is the one that I oh, genuinely. This, this isn't just isn't a lie. This isn't me just saying it's saying it for the you know the, for the sake of it. But this is a game I've generally looked at in the past. It's a Legend of Legend of Cage Two for the for the DS. It's a side scrolling um it's a side scrolling sort of uh, fighter. I think it's in the vein of the um sort of the original Ninja Gaiden games. And I've always liked the look of it. It's um. As demons converge upon a helpless princess, a solitary glint of steel punctuates the deepening gloom. A ninja hunts the hunters tonight, and while he breathes, all hope is not lost. Use your skill and cunning to guide Cage unscathed through the storm of flashing katana, screaming shuriken, and scorching fireballs with full dual screen graphics, customizable ninjutsu, special moves, two playable characters, and a captivating narrative. The Legend of Cage 2 breathes new life into Taito's classic arcade hit. Excellent, mate. That is. I'm not just saying that. I have, I have. It is a game that is genuinely, um, uh, or have generally been sort of looking at in the past. So, like I said, I saw the back. Oh, sorry, I saw the back, and I knew exactly what it was. So that is spot on. So, cheers, Ad. I really appreciate it. you. Didn't like seeing you. Didn't have to do it because, as I said, um, it, was a, it was a game. The original game was given to me, so you didn't have to do it, but. I like it, and I've got your address now. So, and you have mentioned in, in recent videos certain things that you like. So, I I could sort of uh, attempt to turn this into sort of like a you know a one upmanship sort of thing. But um, that, that could I might do in the future. You know when you least expect it. But uh. so my cat's just coming. What do you want what? What? You bored? Bored. Don't no, don't nudge the tripod. Excuse me. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, when you least expect it, you'll you'll get something um probably <laughs> probably not that impressive, but through the post. But definitely not as impressive as these, because these are, these are, I'm you've you've got me down to a T there, mate. So. So cheers, Ad. I, I'm really, really grateful. Everybody else, check out his channel because you you won't be uh, you won't be disappointed. I mean, obviously you've got the uh, the links side of things because there's all the, he's a proper links buff. And um, anybody who, else who likes just people who like having a good time getting pissed <laughs> going on eBay, if that sounds like a good idea, sounds like a brilliant idea to me. But if if you like the sound of that, go and check his channel out. Or even if you don't, you know, check check it out anyway. Because he's a, he's a really really top lad, funny funny lad, expat over in Australia. If I hadn't said before, but cheers, Adam. Really appreciate it, mate. Everybody else, thanks for watching. See you later.